That's awesome. Now, so you get in your, um, you are, you're a dentist now, right? And so you have patients coming through the doors, you're building a business, but then that entrepreneur spirit pops up again and you get an opportunity to create another business. Would you mind sharing a little bit about that with us? Yeah, man, that, that actually, I want to say it, it was formed and created organically, but you're right. It was the entrepreneurial spirit. I saw a challenge or a, I saw something that needed to be solved. I wanted to solve yep. it. And, um, I recently heard this guy, uh, I think it's Jay, Jay Shetty talks about, you know, your passion or your purpose. If you're good at something, you're good at something, you like doing it. There's a need for it and you can get paid for it. That's how you know yeah. when your passion and your purpose align. I realized I'm good at solving a problem. There was a, a, a problem that needed to be solved. Um, I wanted to do it. It was fun and interesting. And I realized it could be a business. And, uh, and it came in the form of extractions. As simple as that sounds, it was just literally the, 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 the oldest procedure in dentistry is pulling a tooth. And we're still doing the post-op the same way. We're handing a patient gauze and some written instructions and saying, here's what you need to know and what you shouldn't do and what you should do. And uh, I was doing that every day, man, because we, we had an, uh, a practice that did extractions and bone grafts and sometimes implants. But I was just tired of telling the same story every single time, giving them the same boring gauze and post-op that everybody else gave. And I don't, I don't like being like everybody else. Um, so I was like, there's got to be a better way. I'm going to create the patient experience to be better. So we put everything in a nice uh, box that has all the instructions and the gauze and the acetaminophen the ibuprofen, a tea bag for bleeding, uh, a little slot to put your business card. And then we put our logo on the front and we gave that to our patients and said, Hey, everything you need is in here. Now you don't need to go to the drugstore. You go straight home and uh, it's on us. Um, thanks for being a patient here and call us if you have any, any concerns. I was like, wait a minute, I could sell this to other people. <laughs> other dentists, other dentists could benefit from this. And so that's how the patient care package was born. Uh, created that three years ago. And I would say now at the three year mark, it's starting to take off. I'm starting to get phone calls, emails, orders. Um, we now sponsor different events for surgeries and um, Mission of Mercy is an extraction, uh, uh, like getting people out of pain event that happens. We um, have donated to them. I've donated to Heartland. I've donated to dental schools and, but also not just donations. Anybody can just write it off and send it, but people are actually buying the product. Uh, so that, that is where the entrepreneurial spirit came in, man. I wanted to create something. Uh, but also I, I will share and just plant this seed in those that are thinking that you can actually be an entrepreneur in a DSO and let your creativity flourish. Like they let me have a hand in my social media um, and, and encourage it. They let me have a hand in my marketing or the decisions at the practice and they encourage it. 